The new Echo HC 2020 hedge trimmer is set to replace the Echo HC 152 in the current Echo lineup. So we're going to take the time here to show you some of the features and benefits of the new Echo HC 2020 hedge trimmer and you'll see why this is a good upgrade over the existing HC 152 hedge trimmer. The HC 2020 hedge trimmer has a 20 inch cutting blade and is powered by a 21.2 cc two stroke engine. The blades on the HC 2020 are the standard double reciprocating blades you will find on most Echo trimmers. That means the top blade and the bottom blade both move. Unlike some battery powered and cheaper trimmers where only one blade moves and the other one is stationary. These blades are protected by a plastic guard you see on the top there. It is made out of a heavy durable plastic and is replaceable. This is an upgrade over the old metal guard that would bend and jam up the blades. The HC2020 also has a metal tip guard on the blade. This will help prevent wear and damage when trimming near a wall or near the ground. As you can see here in this picture, the gear case on the HC2020 hedge trimmer is much smaller than what you're used to seeing on the Echo hedge trimmers. This is one of the areas where they were able to cut down on weight of the overall unit. You can also see here that it's very open up to the muffler. There is a guard around it, but it's very open to help get the heat out away from the engine. Another thing to notice here in this picture is that the HC2020 also has the hole in the handle, which can be used for hanging the unit on a wall. This makes it easier for landscapers to hang the unit up in a trailer or for homeowners to just hang it up in the garage, out of the way, and store it away while they're not using it. In this picture here where we zoom in on the HC2020, you can see it has nice large cooling fins on the cylinder, and it also has slots or ports over by the clutch to help keep the clutch and the bearings cool for the cutting blades. You can also see the grease circ right there making it easy to grease the cutting blades just like you can find on the HC152. Here you can see on the exhaust cover and on the recoil starter housing there are plenty of large holes to help draw cool air in and help push the heat out away from the engine. This is going to help this engine last a lot longer. You can also see that there's a nice gap there between the fuel tank and the engine. This keeps the heat away from your fuel, keeping your fuel cooler, and helping your engine run better. The fuel tank on the HC2020 is injection molded. This helps it to save weight, and it is also a bit stronger than the fuel tanks on previous models. This new style fuel tank holds 13.2 fluid ounces. That's a bit less than the HC152 fuel tank, which held 15.6 ounces. You're going to lose about two and a half ounces there of fuel capacity, but it's a pretty nice trade-off for the weight savings and for the durability of this new fuel tank. Another important feature to notice in this picture is the backing plate for the air filter was extended out around to help protect the fuel lines, the throttle cable, and the wire for your ignition switch. Here's a little closer look at the fuel tank, and you can see how this cover has the fuel lines protected that are back in behind it there. Another thing to note is this uses the same air filter that you're going to find in a lot of the Echo residential equipment. So maintenance is going to be really easy. You're not going to have a hard time finding parts for this thing to keep it up and running. Here's a little bit of a comparison. That's the HC152 up there in the upper left and down here towards the lower right. This is the HC2020 and you can see the fuel lines and the ignition wire there. They're all exposed. Now you can't see any of that stuff on a new HC2020 because of that filter backing plate that they have wrapping around there to the fuel tank to help hide all that stuff. This is a shot looking from the bottom up at the bottom of the carburetor. You can see in the bottom of the engine here, there's ports there to help suck more air in and get the hot air out. You can also see on this side, they have more ports for cooling air to get into the clutch. And notice up here, between the insulator on the engine block and the carburetor, they now have an aluminum heat shield on there. Here's a better look at that aluminum heat shield between the insulator and the carburetor. This thing is no joke. This is a nice, thick, rigid piece of aluminum here to help keep the heat away from the carburetor. Does everybody remember the old gray air filter covers? The ones that would always have a chip missing out of them or a big piece busted out of them? Eh, not going to happen with this air cleaner cover. Take a look at this. This thing is very forgiving. It'll twist. It'll bend. It'll give and it goes right back into shape. So it's a good durable air filter cover and you're gonna get a nice tight seal on that air filter with the way this thing is designed. 
So you're probably saying, okay, yeah, those are some pretty nice features, and you've told us a few of the benefits of some of these features, but is that really it? No, there's a lot more to it. And one of the biggest things you're going to notice with this hedge trimmer, when you pick it up, right away you're going to notice that this thing is two pounds lighter than the old HC-152 hedge trimmer. Not only is it two pounds lighter, but it just has a completely different feel to it because it is actually a little bit shorter than the HC-152, even though it has the same size blade on it, the whole unit overall is a bit shorter. The engine has moved, the handle has moved just a little bit, enough to make everything more well balanced. So not only is it the two pounds lighter, it feels like it's probably three or four pounds lighter just because of the way it is balanced now. We showed you several key areas where they've added a way to help cool the parts there in those areas. Now the benefit to that is anytime you can get your engine to run cooler, it's going to last longer. Heat is the number one killer of any engine, two cycle, four cycle, it does not matter. If it gets too hot, that's when everything starts breaking down. So they did a really good job in keeping this engine cool. As you can see here in this picture, not only do they have more holes in the recoil starter housing to get more cool air in there to help keep the engine cool like we were just talking about, but here the fuel tank is bolted directly to the recoil housing, the plastic recoil housing, rather than the block on the HC-152 that you see in the background here. This is going to help keep your fuel tank a lot cooler between it being bolted to the plastic recoil starter housing and having that nice gap in there around the engine where it's not touching the engine at all. Your fuel is going to stay nice and cool. And the other nice thing about this recoil starter, this is the I-30 system on this. So it's going to take less strength, less pull to get this thing to kick over and fire up than the old HC-152 model. You know, the craziest thing about this is currently the HC-2020 has an MSRP that is only $10 higher than the HC-152. And just right here in this picture, what you see between that air filter backplate being extended around to protect the fuel lines, the I-30 starting system, the improved fuel tank, and all the extra cooling you get, that's more than a $10 value right there just in those features alone. So if you're in the market... For a gas powered hedge trimmer and you want any of these following features easy to start not going to break the bank lightweight easy to find parts for easy to maintain not expensive to maintain and a good warranty five-year consumer two-year commercial then you need to start with the hc 2020 from echo it has all those features plus all the other stuff we just showed you in this video. So here's the closing thoughts on the HC2020 head trimmer from Echo. There's a lot of talk about Echo's X-Series of equipment and how far they've come in the commercial game. But what's going unnoticed by a lot of people is the way that they have changed their consumer products as well. The CS4510 is a good example of that. That is a good platform right there that they're going to start being able to modify all of their mid-range saws to be more like that CS4510. I believe you're going to see the same thing with this HC2020 hedge trimmer. This is going to be a good foundation and a good building block for all of their hedge trimmers going forward. Lightweight, plenty of power, it's going to run nice and cool, so it's going to last a long time. You know, there's so many benefits to this thing that they've changed from their old gray HC1500s all the way up to the HC-152, and now this is a big step forward for them in the hedge trimmer lineup. So this thing is definitely worth checking out. If you get out to your dealer, pick one up, you'll notice right away that big weight difference in it and the maneuverability of it. You know, don't take our word for it. Put it in your own hands and see for yourself. So this was our look at the features and benefits of the Echo HC-2020 hedge trimmer. If you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to our channel. That way you get the notifications and you can see what we're putting out in the future coming up here we got a lot of projects we're working on and we're always putting out new material so thanks for watching and we'll be talking to you soon